We are literally playing in the snow. Y'all see this? They got snow snow. And this is the reason why I did not come here yesterday. I would have been in it. Y'all see this? Light test, light test, light test. The tires look good. 
I mean, on C. Let's see how much weight this is. Let's check our lights. Is that working? Not flat, not flat. Get our paperwork. We got me a scale ticket too. That was nice. very warm these vans they're like waterproof and all of that and they keep your feet warm but it's a lot of snow so but i'm gonna make my coffee and i'll be right back do i need to clean these mirrors because yesterday woo, they got they got the business yesterday being on the road with all that salt slush it's the perks too you don't even got to get out to do it Something that actually happened today. I'm gonna have a little story time right quick. Uh, my fleet manager called me. I didn't tell y'all, but me and him had a, I guess you could call it an argument. We did have an argument maybe two weeks ago. We wasn't seeing eye to eye on something. And um, it wasn't bad, but it happened and it happened. So today was the first time I actually verbally talked to him since then. And so I think it was a test because at the time I was going to actually ask for a new fleet manager because I didn't want to have to deal with him again. But for some reason, the grown man in me and the spirit in me was like, 
Is that what you do when it comes to confrontation? Like you just dismiss and run away? Or are you gonna weigh it out and do what you gotta do? And I remember even at the end of the call, I remember apologizing for raising my voice because that's some, that's just something I don't do. I'm not that kind of person. But uh, so today he called and he just wanted to touch bases with his load to let me know that I could get there earlier than 1900. And I told him, I was like, oh yeah, I said, I'm up and about to pull out anyway. So I most definitely was about to just be waiting. So he was like, okay, cool. And I'm at, I told, I messaged him the other day so I can come home Friday because I have an appointment Saturday. And uh, he was like, oh yeah, we'll be sure to get you home tomorrow and then blah, 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 blah. It was a very like good call. So, and I, I wasn't acting funny. I was like, he asked me, hey, how's it going? I was like, I'm good. I was like, how are you? Okay, cool, whatever. Cause that's how we were talking before. So I was just like, you know what? Thank God for growth. Because back then, back in the day, I would have been like, nah, give me somebody else. So I'm gonna try to avoid him. I'm not gonna answer the phone or whatever. I will, I will do those things to avoid confrontation. But I truly can say that I am growing up and I rise to the occasion. All right, enough of talking. We're gonna get on this road. We're gonna get out of here. That's good. Ooh, that's good.
All right, y'all, we are here at our fuel stop. Just need to enter fuel stop on my computer. All right, let me see what they, sometimes they'll have you do a fuel stop and they'll say fuel 50 gallons. Oh, they want a full, okay, cool. And I'm not even at a half a tank, so. I'm not down to a half a tank, so uh, we're good. So let me fill up. I think I'm gonna stop in Subway and get me a sandwich, breakfast sandwich. They got that flatbread with egg and ham and cheese and put a little mayo on it. It will bless your soul, it will bless your spirit. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> Cons. Man, getting here took forever. I guess that's the thing about getting back to Illinois. Some days it's smooth, but today it seemed like it was just a struggle. First, fuel and routing routed me totally different. Had me doing country, county roads. And I'm like, why would I do county roads coming here when we do the same route all the time? I should just stick to my first mind that did the actual route. But I always think about tolls. They'll pay tolls if they route you through tolls. But if you take yourself through tolls, you got to pay for them. So I didn't want to do that. I tried to follow the directions as best as I could. So we got here at 12, about 1247, 1248. And then I was like three miles away from my exit. And then we were in bumper to bumper traffic. So it just happens. That's the way it goes. So now I'm waiting to, I'm waiting for them to call me to let me know where I'm dropping this off. And then I'm picking up an empty. Then I don't know where I'm going after that. I have to see. They haven't gave me another plan. Joliet is like 40 miles away from home. So I don't know. There's supposed to be a storm. I think there is supposed to snow tonight. I haven't really checked. I only check the weather with where I'm going. I don't be checking the weather like just because. So I put that in my trip planning for me to check the weather. It did snow last night in Wisconsin. I think it's supposed to snow tonight. And then it's supposed to be like a storm starting tonight, going tomorrow, during the weekend. So I don't know if they're gonna try to keep me here locally to just make sure I can get home tomorrow. They might try to do that. So we just have to see. But for any, for, for some reason, when the weather people say Gary's getting a storm or Northwest Indiana, we don't get nothing. Like our streets were not, no ice, no sleet, no snow or anything that morning I woke up. It's a blessing. I'm not gonna be mad about that because nobody at my house is shoveled the snow anyway. But uh, let's see what they're doing. We're going to see where they want me to take this.